Hey, Dave Fan here with the Body Firm Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. The supreme importance of small wins. And I had a very, I wouldn't say it's a general reminder, I'd say it was a swift kick in the ass in the last couple of weeks of the importance of getting small wins anytime you're trying to make some major changes in your lifestyle, especially when people are coming in to lift weights and lose body fat and change the way they're eating, it's not easy. And I had a reminder this last couple of weeks, I'm helping a friend launch a business. Not an easy thing to do because it's pretty frustrating and there's no guarantees and they usually fail. But in this instance, we had some small wins right out of the box. Right away, we started getting some responses, an overwhelming amount of responses in a very difficult market. And we were both like, holy shit, this works. And it reminded me of the absolute importance when I'm coaching my clients of getting them some small wins, especially in the beginning. And it's not just my imagination. It's not just woo woo stuff. We know this through research too. Just like Change or Die, one of the seminal books that we built our program off of is talking about the Ornish program, which helps heart transplant patients recover from bad habits so they don't end up having to have another heart transplant or they ruin all the hard work that the surgeons and the person that donated the heart gave them. And it's called the Ornish program. And they're looking at changes of behaviors and what they said is calls the importance of short-term wins. Cotter says that it's always vital to identify, achieve, and celebrate some quick, positive results for the emotional lifts they provide. Without sufficient wins that are visible, timely, unambiguous, and meaningful to others, change efforts invariably run into serious problems. And when you're looking, when you know, my average clients come in to, look, to lose 30 to 50 pounds of body fat over time. And if you don't start getting some small wins in the beginning, you're gonna get pretty frustrated pretty quick. So that's why we always try to look at a couple, one or two behavioral changes that are measurable in those first two to four weeks. And that helps get you the visible results in the mirror on the scale and in your clothes. For example, you're looking to lose weight your first couple weeks, let's say first two weeks of your program, what would be a good small, long, small term goal to have that you could measure and get a win off of is three workouts per week, 30 minute workouts for two weeks. It's visible, you know if you're there or not, and it's very simple to measure. It's timely, two weeks, can I get six workouts in? And you say, well, six workouts, that's not that big. But for a lot of people, six workouts is six more than they've done in the last 20 years. That's a big win. Timely, two weeks, measurable results. Unambiguous, was I there five times over the last two weeks or six? Measurable results. Can I get those six workouts in? And it's meaningful to others because if you talk to somebody and you tell them, hey, I'm trying to establish this exercise habit and I worked out six times the last two weeks. They can respect that. It's not ambiguous. It's very cut and dry. It's black and white. I was there for six times. That's how you establish the exercise habit is consistency over time. And if you're looking at diet, you can reduce sugar or eliminate sugar from your diet. It's visible. Are you actually taking it in or did you cut it out? Is it a donut a day or nothing at all? Is it timely? Two weeks, no sugar. You'll see results unambiguous. You're either reducing and eliminating sugar or you're not. There's no middle ground really. And it's meaningful to others because if anybody's ever tried to reduce or eliminate sugar, they know how hard that is. There's no doubt that it's a challenge, but these small wins, if I can get those six workouts in, that's a win and it's measurable and you can celebrate that. And that's a big deal. I've reduced and eliminated sugar. And if you can make it two weeks without sugar, you can make it two years or 20 years after that. It's a very big deal when you're looking to lose weight and start feeling better. The supreme importance of small wins. That's what I try to do with my clients. And you should establish that too, especially if you're looking to stick with it through this summer, get some small wins because it helps you maintain that momentum in the beginning of your program when it can be a real challenge to staying on track. And I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions, 
Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, like it, share it, comment below. I'm Dave Fannin with the Body Firm Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. Talk to you guys later.